Let's make sourdough discard cinnamon rolls. In your bowl, add eight ounces of water, two teaspoons of yeast, two tablespoons of sugar. Go ahead and mix that together. And then go ahead and let it sit for about five minutes or until it becomes foamy. Now that it's foamy, we're gonna add 150 grams of our sourdough discard, one egg, 420 to 480 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna start with about 440. One teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a cup of cubed butter. Go ahead and get it on your KitchenAid and then start mixing. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour until it starts to pull away from the sides. And now I'll go ahead and let this knead for about five to eight minutes. Okay, so now that this is done kneading, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Move my bucket. Go ahead and get your dough out and then you're gonna roll it into a ball. Spray your bowl and then add your dough back in and you're gonna let this sit for one to two hours or until it doubles in size. Now that my dough is done rising, I'm first going to go take a nine by 13 inch casserole dish and I'm going to spray it really well with nonstick cooking spray. Go ahead and set that aside. Next, go ahead and sprinkle your countertop lightly with some flour and then grab your dough. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and punch it down and then get it out on your countertop. And then you're gonna wanna roll this out to a rectangle. You can add a little bit of flour to your rolling pin if you need. I'm just trying to keep it even and you want it about a fourth of an inch thick. After that, I have two tablespoons of room temperature butter. I'm gonna get that on here and just spread it all the way out. After that, I'm gonna take a half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and then go ahead and mix this together. Go ahead and add your cinnamon sugar. You just want to leave a little bit right here open, so don't cover all of it. And then now you're going to take one in and you're going to start rolling it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut it in half. And then I'm going to pull them close. So I'm gonna cut these about every two inches and then add them to your casserole dish. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just cover them again and let them rest for their second rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now that these are done with their second rise, I'm gonna go ahead and place them in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. While the cinnamon rolls are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make some buttercream. So I'm going to take one stick of room temperature butter and add it to my bowl. And you are going to turn this on and just whip it until it's smooth. Okay, so you can start seeing that it's getting some fluffiness. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna start with two cups of powdered sugar. I'm gonna do a splash of vanilla, and then I'm gonna start off with probably about two tablespoons of milk. And I'm gonna start mixing this on low so it doesn't make a mess. If you have to, go ahead and scrape down those sides. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. So I just kinda go for a fluffy consistency, and that's when I know it's mixed. I'm gonna turn it down, then just add a little bit more powdered sugar and then taste test it and see if you like it. Perfect. They are all done cooking. I'm going to give them a couple minutes to cool before I put the buttercream on top. Now that I let them cool just a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put the buttercream on and just go ahead and smear it on evenly. Don't want any of this to go to waste. It's the best part. Okay, so there you go. I will go ahead and put the full recipe in the description below and then follow me for more recipes.